It's September 2016 and we are at the 28th edition of USUS. This year, the European Union Contest for Young Scientists is finally back in Brussels. Welcome to the opening ceremony of the European Union Contest for Young Scientists, the USUS 2016. It's such an honor and a pleasure to be here with you today. You have done a great job, you have been selected in your countries and you deserve to be here. I am so impressed by you all, and thanks to you that this is happening. Congratulations already to you all for what you have already achieved. Yeah. The initiative of the European Union aims to promote the ideals of cooperation between young scientists. This year, more than 130 participants coming from all over Europe and beyond take part in the contest in the heart of Europe. Tour et Taxi. First day of the competition. Again, the annual showcase gathers the best achievements in a variety of scientific fields. From biology and physics, to engineering and computing. It's like motion capture technology, which was used in Avatar, but it's less expensive and it's super simple. <laughs> Here, the sky is clearly not the limit. I made a system that reads the user's brainwaves on the forehead. It's just like in the Star Wars movie, you can move objects and uh, use your brainwaves as the force. Hello, good day. Bonjour. Those research projects clearly inspire students of other schools attending the exhibition. For me it's a way to sort of learn more about subjects which I don't study at school. It allows me to ask questions about how they got into this and maybe see if I want to do it later on. An international jury made up of scientists has to evaluate the projects. I think it is very visual, it is beautiful to see all these stuff, all these things and uh, it's quite good. <laughs> Jury, visitors and organisers are amazed by the work of these geniuses. Every year the students seem to get better and better and their projects are just so impressive. We have lots of robots this year, we have lots of very interesting medical projects and we have one or two good mathematics projects. Science is all about passion and of course passion always rhymes with funny ideas. You have to take a selfie with everybody in all of these different projects. So, so basically getting people to socialize. It's, like well, yeah. it's about building the most creative structure with straws or the tallest one. The it biggest will, star. It will become bigger. <laughs> and at the end, every genius will have a spot on the Wall of Fame. It's time for a lecture with the scientists of the Euroforum. Most of the telescopes, large telescope facilities, were in the northern hemisphere, and so ESO came along to take over the southern hemisphere. Last day of the exhibition, the participants are already experienced in showcasing their project. So I developed ways that you could measure stress through electrodermal activity and I came up with ways to quantify what kind of stress a person is experiencing. So my goal here is to apply this towards applied behavior analysis treatment for people with autism and in the future a type of app that could help. Christian Congress has worked all year on simulations on the collision of binary white dwarfs using a cubic grid. It was quite a huge project but I learned like a lot, like really, really much. Sitting on the jury is not an easy task, especially when it's your first experience in a great contest. The easiest part is to go out uh, with the students and talk to them. They're very enthusiastic, they're very energetic and uh, it's very good for us. But here is the difficult part, of course, because we want to be fair and that is not easy. After a long day of explanation, it's time to relax. And now, an urban game to discover Brussels more in detail. Welcome to the award ceremony of UC 2016. 
first prize goes to Riva Connell Grace. As an American visiting Europe for the first time, I'm just so pleased and so honored to have received this great award from the European Union. Surprised. Uh, we didn't expect like a mathematics project to be able to win first prize when there are so many other like extremely well done projects here. I'm very happy for this very important prize for this award, and I and I hope that the science can continue to improve my life and to become a a word in the future. USIS 2016 is now over. See you next year in Estonia for new scientific adventures. <laughs>